Affiliated with the Montas. Welcome to the jungle on the dark side. Hey, all my niggas came up off of hard times. Now we live in lavish, nigga. Ain't no need to paddy, put but guess all in my paddy. Call it. You already know what time it is, man. I'm back with another one on Detroit on fire. Man, that's the hottest show in the city. Matter of fact, that's the hottest show in the world. I got two special guests in the building tonight. Won't y'all go ahead and introduce yourself for the people? My name Kells Perry. I'm Shade. Okay, we got Kells and Shade. It sound like R. Kelly and shit. <laughs> but that's what's up, man. Um, I, so, uh, Kells, what's up, man? What's good with you, bro? You already know it, man. Uh, it's good to see you, bro. You looking, you looking nice, man. You got the glasses, Detroit Tiger cap on and shit. You from like the East? You, where you from, man? Yeah, I was born on the East, but I was raised at HP, bro. Shout out to HP. Shout out to East Side. The Highland Park? Yes, sir. Okay. My boy, you know, my boy Marley from Highland Park, man. So, you know, you you, you, you locked in with me. You know what I'm Most saying? Most definitely. Appreciate Let's it. Let's get it, man. So, Shay, where you from? Lansing. I'm sorry? Lansing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Where the capital. Yep. Yeah, the capital. Yep. <laughs> That yeah, way. Real shit. <laughs> I, I was life out in Lansing. I never heard of no one being from there. Um, some people would say it's like the country, but mm. you, so it's like in the middle. Of, it's you like got, nothing out there. It's state out there though. Oh, for sure. yeah, state. MSU. But we ain't Michigan State fans, so. Yeah, boy. You know. yeah, <laughs> I ain't one either. No, so okay, just sick. making sure. <laughs> Check your yeah, temp. So damn, Lansing. <laughs> so uh, what do you, what do you uh? So out in Lansing, you got like. A favorite food or like a favorite restaurant a thing like that what you do what you like honestly i didn't realize we didn't have nothing until i came here to the city so to detroit right to detroit okay yeah okay so what uh what are some of your uh, favorite restaurants the coney's um capitol grill um Inspire. yeah so sure. uh mangiano's nice italian restaurant you know so he, yeah, dude. Okay, what about you? I know you about to say uh, motherfucking turkey grill. <laughs> no, <Nah>, real talk. <laughs> turkey. Hey, shout out to the turkey grill, bro. Hey, they've been they've been doing their thing for a minute, but um, uh, it's been I like anything, dog. Anything that can fill me up, bro. But uh, my favorite Coney in HP is uh, LA Coney, though. Okay, real talk. Okay, I just need to see. What, 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 what I'm dealing with, you know what I mean? Since you know what I mean? Since she from Atlanta, I know how I'm gonna talk now. You know what I mean? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so did 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 you, did you do any uh anything growing like sports or or uh, track or anything? Uh, shape? Yeah, I played basketball. Um, I started off at uh, JUCO and then I went to JUCO. That's like a community college, right? Right. Yeah, I right. That shit on the uh, Netflix. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then I went to a university, so um, N A I A. So I played a little bit there. Mm. Mm -hmm. What university? Lindenwood University. It's okay, little, that's all in uh, Illinois, right? Southern Illinois. Southern, Southern Illinois. Yeah. That's what's up. You away from the drill and all the, the billing and killing and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was right there at the border of St. Louis, so if I would have went up. On the other side, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. away from like fifty third, whatever, sixty third, all that shit. Yeah, <laughs> so, that way. Hey, uh, you did sports growing up. I mean, you know, in high school and shit, right? Yeah, I was, I was pretty much everywhere though. Like ninth and tenth grade, I was, I was at a private school. What's your private school? Yeah, and then Clarence. Nick? <laughs> <laughs> No, no for school, man. No, I went to. Uh, Eaton, right? I went to no. Oh, I went okay. to uh, St. Mary's, and then um, my 11th grade year, I went back to the hood, HP, and then my 12th grade year, I went, and that's when I met you, at Lincoln. That was tough. Yeah. yeah. So we know each other one year, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yep. No, we know each other more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that, but, but I'm that was school. that was Damn. a year. Yeah. That was tough. That was 12th grade. That's when I was 11, dog. Nah, I was back at home. I was HP. Okay, okay. Here, yeah. so you you basically was good nigga, bad nigga, good nigga, <laughs> bad nigga. So what are you not? I'm good. I'm okay, good. so you know, you laugh off on the good side. Yeah. Shout out to K Perry for being a good nigga, <laughs> so, my boy. So, so I know y'all been watching the news and seeing what's been going on. Uh, I want to talk more on that level. What uh, which what's your guys' outlook on the situation with the Trump supporters and what they did in Washington? Well, me personally. I just think it was just all a, it was all a little fixed job anyway. That's just me personally, but uh, it's neither here or there. Cool. Um, what about you, Shade? 
I feel like everything's just coming to the light. Everything that was in secret, um, how people are really feeling is just coming out now. Mm-hmm. So, you know. So do you think if black people were engaged in it, like how they were, would it be in a different outlook? Out, I mean, Man, you know it would have been a massacre. I think, yeah, they just still been cleaning up blood to yeah. this day. Real talk. But, uh, yeah. We, we pretty much seen with the, how they are treating us. That's literally what it is, how they are treating us. Mm-hmm. So every every time since I just uh, started back doing my shows, I had to stop due to the pandemic. I want to ask you guys, did the uh, pandemic make you or break you? I'm going to say it really, it really made us because we pretty much... Um, Shay pretty much came with the whole idea of, you know, running her brand to us. I mean, and we was like, let's do it. You know what I mean, we ain't had nothing else better to do. We was the only like people working at the post office. So we was making the money and then we took the little stimulus check, made our little, you know, our profit off of, you know, making clothes and stuff like that. So, and then we was working every day. So you you telling me, uh, you you flipped your stimulus checks into into something uh, profit-wise. Yes. Very much so. We yes. pretty much started our LLC. The mall was open, shit. I think I went out of time. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> nah, I ain't had that time because we was working every day. So, I mean, but we pretty much um, spent money on LLC, um, clothes, uh, hats, hoodies, sweatshirts, all that. Yeah. So, how about you, Shay? Did the pandemic make you or break you? It it made us as a company. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, just the nine to five took care of everything. Um, it provided us an opportunity just to, I mean, just have enough money, whether it's to pay bills, pay off any debt, um, to build in our business, mm-hmm. and we was able to do that and capitalize off of it. So. Yeah. So you guys um work. So you work at the post office. Mm-hmm. So. Um, that did that stop for you guys? Did y'all have to stop working? No. Okay. I mean, the shit kept going. It kept going. I mean, they pretty much had it to where everybody um, had the choice of taking three, uh, twelve weeks off, three months. I would have took that shit. Um, Don't tell me nothing. Don't take it. <laughs> but yeah, so it was I'm like get off now. we was we was pretty much bamboozled, you know, when it came to our higher ups, you know, in the company. But we, we, like I said, we took advantage of the opportunity to start our brand with it. So yeah. um, we eventually did our 12, 12 weeks. I mean, I know I did, but. Yeah, what an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's me. worth it. <laughs> and the whole reason we're here today is to talk about the brand, man. The up and coming um, clothing line you guys uh, came up with and created. Premium Billy. Is yeah. that right? Correct, correct. So y'all working? Most definitely. Feel good. Amazing. Feel, hey. still, y'all made me profits. What? Let's go. That's all I what? Hey, Congratulations, man. What? Let's talk about premium Billy, man. I'm so proud that my friend is actually doing this. So that means I can get a discount probably or some free shirts to show off. You know what I'm saying? Got you. Like, you know, asking for that. I'm just saying. You got you. But y'all know, it's really dope, man. You know what I'm saying? You put your mind to the game and you made some shit happen. You know what I'm saying? It's all about a thought and you made the shit happen. So mm-hmm. I appreciate you guys for that, getting that brand out there. So let's talk about premium Billy. Yes, sir. Let's get it. How did it start? I just pass on the introduction to Shade because <laughs> she was the one who started the brand, so she can give you the whole insight of how and where it started from, and I can pretty much piggyback on to where it is, where it is right now. All right, Sesame Chocolate. <laughs> Everybody like calling you that. Um. Seriously, looking at his lips and shit. Come on, the originally called midwest premium and i just stopped selling clothes at that point um i ended up getting a job at the post office and hey, well, how much no, I'm <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you you basically um you had the, you had a brand name mm-hmm. already right and um you had the clothes you had the mindset of doing clothes but you stopped right i stopped okay well, was uh, that due to the pandemic or you just stopped because you just lost interest no I, um actually the post office just took up too much time so my nine to five really was i'm working 12 to 15 hours a day so i just stopped completely and 12 to 15 a day 12 to 15. you was doing mail cat drop-offs 
um, carrying that mail. Oh, I'm straight. Mm-hmm. Bring you, you know, I'm eight. I'm bring eight you niggas. some bills. I mean, more than eight niggas. <laughs> 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 Fifteen. <now. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> so I see why you're no. trying to close the shit. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just taking care of some stuff. <laughs> sure. So I'm interested. That's, is that uh, some of the bread you guys got on right now? Oh okay. yeah, this is pretty much it's the whole fit track. Oh yeah, damn bro, shirt. That shit look fine. Bottom, top, everything. Yeah, yeah, most That's definitely. Good, man. Oh shit! Uh, yeah. Shut your ass up. <laughs> yeah. See, hear me. So what? What was the uh, name change for? Um, I wanted to actually do something that meant something to me, and then uh, when I ran into Kills. We got to talking about wealth and generational wealth and whatnot. So, um, at first we started investing in stocks, mm-hmm. and then we just went back to the clothing line. We just came up with premium Billy, you no know, premium so, exclusive wow. Billy for billionaires. So, mm-hmm. oh, so that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's it's so, de- so it's definitely yeah. yeah, Billy premium Billy Billy is for mm-hmm. billionaire. Okay. Yeah. That's dope as hell. Yeah. That's dope as hell. So, do y'all got any um, merch open? Merch, oh yeah, we definitely got some merch. Definitely, we got it all from, like I said, hoodies, joggers, okay, t-shirts. Mm-hmm. Yep. We got them. This the one. Range? Oh, this one right here. That's See, eighty-five. This is an eighty-five joint. See. One thing we value is quality. Quality, quality for sure. Quality. Quality. Um, mm-hmm. This is like it should be in, um, in Snipes. <laughs> and coming soon. Let them know. Tap me in. <laughs> but yeah, this that 3D puff, like for yeah, real. Like it's, it's definitely, and we got this made from somebody in um New York. Yep, New York. Mm-hmm. Yep. Pretty. Yeah, this it's definitely it's it's up there, bro. Um, so we bro. got two colors of this one. Uh, you can show. So when me. you order shit like that, then you just, you gotta get. It. Well, they sell you just like three or four. You gotta get a whole bunch of them bitches. I mean, it depends on who you go through. Yeah, cause okay. like, yeah, well, uh, to you. a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> but so no, look, I'm sorry, go ahead. no, I was saying like, with with this though, like I said, they try to get us, you know, a, a sample. They give us a sample if we like it. It's like I'm taking off on it. It's a pass or you know what I'm saying, yeah or nay. If we like it and we liked it, so we was like, yeah, let's get a whole batch of these. And it was pretty much on from there. Like I said, we got another color yeah. in this. Those as nice well. colors, too. Yeah. It's Match your Tims. Match your Tims. Yeah. 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 But look, um, that shit beat up. Was it, was, did you guys, <laughs> did you guys have to learn the business before you started the brand? Or did you start a brand and learn the business? I'm going to say it was pretty much both because, like I said, we, we took it on as okay, the nigga let's do it mentality. You know what I'm saying? So it was like we got the opportunity to do it, so we might as well just do it since we got the opportunity to do it. We had the, the funds to do it. So now we was pretty much having that whole mindset and like, hey, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? It's it is what it is. We gonna learn our, you know, bumps on the road, our trials and tribulations on the road, but we gonna have to always be optimistic about everything that we do. So So what just, is a, what is a bump on the road for a clothing line? I mean, you got to, you got it to where you can order a, a nice amount of stuff, and your manufacturer don't come through. You know what I'm saying? He so come he come up short. He come up short. He might not give you nothing in return. He just take your money. You know what I'm saying? So we basically learned our bumps and bruises on the, you know, just doing everything, so working knew, with everybody. You knew that coming into the, because you never deal with clothes before, right? Never, never. So is it something? Is it something like? Something you see yourself doing long term? If this is the end game, like um, get locked in and this shit. If I can get locked in, yeah. But I actually want to do not only clothes for me, but for you know, what I'm saying the younger generation, for um, just other people in general. This, you know what I'm saying? This, so this all for um, adults. You got kids size. You got. Or is that something that's coming up? Yeah, we got some stuff on underway for the for the kids right now. We just doing this for the unisex for both boy and girl. We got our women's line stuff coming up soon. Mm-hmm. Pretty much, like I said, we gonna have everything. Everything gonna be available for everybody. So the stuff we got now is available for everybody. So when you know, man, when the world open back up, will you guys be doing pop up shops? Oh yeah, we yeah. we already got <laughs> one. Mm-hmm. We got one that's coming up. February the 6th. Yeah, February 6th. February the 6th. It's in Atlanta. Um, yeah, you can come I mean, with my wife. Yeah. yeah. 
No, I was playing. No. We'll have a good time. <laughs> no, February. February. Yeah, February. February. Yeah, February the 6th. Yeah, so far, far as the brand, how did it start? Did she come to you or did you reach out to her? Like, let me know. Let the people know. Yeah, so, like I said, um, it was pretty much... I looked at her um, stuff on Instagram because she had a business page on Instagram, the Midwest Premium. So I was like, it had the, the Adidas logo on it. But I was so um, intrigued on the whole little design with the premium. I was like, hey, Shay, let me get a shirt. She like, I don't even do that no more. I'm like, what'd you, what'd you stop for? You know what I'm saying? So she like, I ain't got the support or anything like that. I'm like, what you need like a helping hand like i'll be a worker i don't even i don't even want to be no boss i'll be a worker and she was like all right let me see what we can do and then it was like a couple of not even a couple of weeks but like all right a couple so of days. so what you um with the clothing with working so i feel like you guys taking the, the clothing a little more serious than clocking in you know what i'm saying so what um what's some of the future goals that you guys got to reach um pretty much we want to start our own business, you know what I'm saying, Premium Billy, but we want to basically make it to where we're doing multiple um, entities within the business. So we want to do manufacturing. We want to help people, you know, start their labels, start their business, you know what I'm saying? So. And hey, that's a hustle of his own, too. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, shit, that's, oh, definitely. Like, that's like a workshop, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, um, so I see you into helping people, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm so, definitely. So, yeah, man, so... Uh, how do you guys like manage your prices? Like, how do you like? Okay, this is this much. Cause you said that's eighty, right? Eighty five. Eighty five. I'm sorry mm -hmm. about the five. So <laughs> we need all. Of we them. need all. Of them. So what do you do? You guys like uh, like go off the the, the material you buy or like what's the, how, how do you price your stuff? It's off of the quality. So you know what I'm saying we don't know really until we get it exactly what it's like then we'd be like okay we could charge this much you know what I'm saying so so do you make any decisions alone or do you always include K or K do you make any decisions alone or do you always include shade yeah it's definitely a team effort at all times at, all yeah, times yeah. How, does, how does that happen with you uh, you know, working and you, you know what I'm saying? How do you like, do you got, you know what I'm saying? How do that shit work? Multitasking, like, we text about every decision. Mm -hmm. Every decision that needs to yeah. be made. And we usually respond within a good time frame. And yeah. then we trust each other's judgment yeah. as well. So, oh, definitely. So, this should go to the. Definitely. This should go to the girl. Most definitely. I like that. Let's go. Premium Billy, man. For you sure. guys got any Instagrams or. Facebook, so what can people find your brand and uh, what's next? Our Instagram, Premium Billy, Facebook, Premium Billy. Um, my personal IG is Shade Hoops09. Personal IG is Kills Perry9589. Um, and, and you can find us both on Clubhouse yep, as well. Yep, so same, same, same uh, as IG. Yeah, that's dope as hell, man. So, uh, we're gonna show. A couple of merch items, you know what I'm saying, after the uh the interview is over so everybody can get 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 a hint of the sauce before they um, really take off, you know what I mean? I'm I'm very excited um for the future, you know, twenty twenty one. We set goals and we um we, we, we basically shining bright as a diamond, man. And I appreciate you, my friend, you're my buddy, you know oh, what I mean? Yeah. And I appreciate you buddy. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> Hey, no, it's, it's definitely up there. I greatly appreciate you, though. Yeah, yeah, like no, I said, man. Um, so, uh, Premium Billy, man. Yeah, PremiumBilly.com. Yeah, so, that's what we know. That website. Yeah, website. yeah, yeah. yeah. PremiumBilly.com. Also, the link is in our bios on our page, on the the Premium Billy page, and our pages as well. So, yeah. it's all access to get to, you know, to the um, website. Anybody that's local, we pull it up. So, yeah, so. we definitely. Is it what's the size? I'm sorry, just to ask. I'm a two X, three X guy. Sometimes small to two X. Yeah. What's up with three? That's a little issue. It's it's coming that way. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we, we actually like. we actually did one of the our little um suits that our dragon sets in the three X. It's sold and it sold out immediately. Immediately, yeah. and not to say we had like one or two. Like, nah, this is like five, maybe 10, 15 suits in the 3x and they sold out fast 
So, shout out to my my big niggas. Hey, everybody rocking the brand for sure. Real talk. <laughs> Premium Billy, we out. <laughs>